Hey everyone, in this Service Insights video, we're going to be talking about how to navigate to your reports, as well as some basic controls in Tableau to make the most of them. So, starting from the home screen, you want to navigate to this icon that looks like three horizontal lines on the top left corner of your screen. Go ahead and select that, and then select Summary Statistics. On this page, you'll see each of the different reporting dashboards that you can access. We'll go through all of these in their own video, but for the purpose of this demonstration, we want to select Snapshot Overview. When you select that, it'll open up Tableau in a new tab. So if at any time you need to navigate back to Service Insights, just check at the top of your browser and navigate back. So a quick word about what you're looking at here. Service Insights uses a software called Tableau to build its reports. Tableau is a data visualization software that pulls in all of the visit information that you record in Service Insights to turn them into easy reports, graphs, and even maps, as you see here. To make things easier, you always want to pay attention to a couple of things, particularly the filters, which are going to be on the left-hand side of your screen, and the controls, which run across the top here. We'll look at the filters first. You'll see that when you load up the snapshot overview, you have a start date and an end date, and these default to the last full calendar month. So I'm recording this video in January, but since the last full month was December, we have our start date and end date as the first and the last day of December. You can change these at any time to pull in different visits that were in that period that you specify. Just keep in mind that as you change anything in the filters, the dashboard to the right will automatically refresh to pull in more information. For Food Bank, you won't have any options here because you're all under the capital area of Food Bank. And likewise, for agency, you'll just have your own. I'm using my Food Bank Administrator account so I can look at several different agencies at once. You'll just see your own food pantry there. Program location name might come into play if you are a partner who has multiple different locations. For instance, if you have a traditional brick and mortar pantry and you also do a pop-up or a mobile distribution and you wanna sort through just one of those locations, you can use the program location name field to pull apart those visits. Your events describe the schedule for the visits that you want to look at. So for example, if you just want to look at the visits that were recorded on your first Friday distributions, or if you only want to look at your weekday afternoon distributions, you can do so in the events filter. For program type, you'll see the different services that you offer. For most pantries, this is going to be food, food pantry, but you might also have options such as baby supplies or for personal care products too. And likewise, service display name allows you to filter those with a little bit more granularity. So if you are providing both diapers and other baby supplies to your clients, you'll see that you can split those apart here too. Government program won't apply for most. This will only come into play if you are a partner that participates in TFAP, which is a federal government program. If you select this, you'll be able to split apart your visits for TFAP services as well as for your non-TFAP services. Uh, lastly, we have a couple of geographic filters down here, sorting by county or by zip code. One quick point of order here, you'll see that in Tableau, you see the word neighbor quite a bit. Neighbor is just the way that Feeding America, who built service insights as well as their ports here, refer to any individual. So at the capital area food bank, we often just talk about clients. Uh, Feeding America sometimes uses neighbor. You see individuals here as well. All of those terms are pretty much interchangeable. We just use those to describe one individual person who's receiving services. So at the top of the screen, at the controls, there are two that are really useful to keep in mind. The first is going to be the pause auto updates feature. This is an icon that looks like a little cylinder with two horizontal lines, kind of in the bottom right corner of the icon itself. Like I mentioned earlier, if we were to change any filter over here, like the start date or the end date, the visualization to the right will automatically refresh to pull in data that match those filters or to exclude data that does not match those filters. 
if you're ever trying to get numbers for a certain period of time or for certain services and you need to change several of these filters, it can be a little bit time consuming because the visualization will refresh after every single change to a filter. And if you have three to update, that means you have to wait for it to load three times. An easier way to go about this is to pause the updates. So let's say that I just need to look at all of the TFAP services for the month of December, uh, November, rather. I will go over and change the start date to the 1st of November, and I will change the end date to the last day of November. And then I will also change my government program to be just TFAP, which is a government program. And then when I apply those changes, I can do so by hitting the same button again, which will resume those auto updates. And the visualization will refresh just one time instead of three times. And there we go. Another one of the controls that's very useful to familiarize yourself with is the download feature. So we mentioned in training that we encourage you to share the reports as you really need to. The reports in Tableau are especially useful because all of this data is anonymized. Nothing that you see in Tableau will ever include a phone number, an address, or a person's name. So the information can be shared without compromising anybody's privacy. If you ever need to do that, you want to look for this button over here, which is sort of like a square or rectangle with an arrow pointing downward. When you select that, you'll have a couple of different options on how you want to download that, whether as an image, whether you want the cross tabulation of the data as a PDF or some other format. Either way, this will allow you to take the data with you to use it in presentations for your board reports or for whatever else you see fit. So that's all for basic Tableau filters and controls. We'll dive into the snapshot overview in depth in another video, which will be linked in the playlist here.